demonstration of how to take a level quiz. Let's read the directions. Pick one problem below to solve. If you do more, only one will count for your grade. You will receive points for showing all of your work. To use my close reading strategies, I'm going to box the actions. Pick one problem to solve. If you do more, only one will count for your grade. You will receive points for showing all of your work. So that's another action. And just a quick reminder, this is new. Only one will count for your grade. When you do a level quiz, you want to pick the problem that you know you can solve. If you look, this problem is worth eight points. This problem's worth nine points. This problem's worth 10 points. You're gonna pick one problem. You wanna pick the one that you can do and still get the most amount of points. For example, if you don't think that you're comfortable with this problem, but you feel like this one's too easy, the best place to start is at level two. And if you finish level two and you feel good about it, if you have a little extra time, then you could do level three for an insurance policy. But in the end, I'm only going to grade one point, one problem. So I'm going to look at your work and grade the highest level that you do and give you the points for that. In other words, the most points you could get on this test is 10. If you do all three problems correctly, you still get 10 points. If you only do the level one problem, you get eight points if you got it correct. If you do the level two problem, you get nine points if you did it correct. So let's say that you're looking at these problems and you feel like this one's a little easy, this one's a little hard, you feel comfortable with this one, so that's where you're going to start. Remember to show all your work to get full credit. And below here, just a quick reminder, fraction bars mean divide. So this is the exact same problem as that. And we want to move the decimal. So the number in the denominator does not have a decimal. When I multiply both 9.2 and 2.3 by 10, I end up with 92 divided by 23. So that's how I'm going to set my problem up. I'm showing all my work. So when I count by 23s, if I did 23 times 2, that's 46. If I did 23, if I double 46, that would be 23 times 4. So let's check and see how that works out. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So it looks like 4 is the number here. No remainder. So my answer is 4. I might have a little bit of time left. That might have been a good confidence builder. And then I think to myself, oh, I really could do problem number three. So then I would go ahead and repeat the same process with problem three in that I want to make sure there's not a decimal in my denominator. So I have to move the decimal one place, which is the same as multiplying by 10. So in I'm going to rewrite this problem to be 335.8 divided by 46. Sharpen up my pencil there. So 46 is out here. 
335.8 here. Remember to move your decimal straight up. And I have to sort of think about how many times 46 goes into 335 because it doesn't go into 33. So I'll pause. You think about that too. Okay, so let's see some of the guesses. Maybe 46 times 6 or 7 will get us close. Let's see what happens. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 4 is 28. Plus 4 is 32. That's pretty close. 322. Put a 7 here. I'm going to subtract. And I have a difference of 13 which means 7 was the right number because 13 is smaller than 46. I'll bring the 8 down and I have to think again. So 46 maybe times 2 or 3. So let's try 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. That looks pretty good. 138. I subtract, no remainder, so I know I'm finished. Since my work is a little crowded in there, I'm going to make sure to circle my answer. Now I have a lot of confidence. I'm going to stop my work there. It's probably time to turn the quiz in. I feel pretty comfortable when the teacher grades my quiz that I'm going to get um, at least one of those right. If I get them both right, I'll get 10 points. If I miss this one, but I get level two right, I'll get nine points.